Hi, it's Gareth Williams from SecureYourWallet.com. We're going to have a look at CryptoKit today. Now, CryptoKit is a new Bitcoin wallet and it's actually a Chrome extension. So to get CryptoKit, we need to open up Chrome and we need to head over to the Chrome Web Store. So if I just look for the Chrome Store. And we want to search for Crypto Kit. And here it is, Crypto Kit Bitcoin Wallet. So if we look at the details of this, it's an instant Bitcoin wallet and it's also a secure instant messaging system and it runs right inside your browser. It's the easiest and fastest Bitcoin wallet to set up and make Bitcoin payments online. So we're going to download Crypto Kit now. We're going to say add. And there we go. CryptoKit Bitcoin Wallet has been added to Chrome. So I'm just going to close this. Now, the first time you click on CryptoKit, you get this message telling you to sort of move your mouse around as randomly as possible. And by doing this, you generate a random Bitcoin key, and this becomes your new Bitcoin public wallet address. So over here, you can see the public wallet address that was generated. And then over here, you can see the QR code that, is, that goes with this public wallet address. So we've got some tabs along the top, and we're in the first tab here, the Bitcoin wallet tab. And over here, you've got an address field. Now, CryptoKit is actually a really nice little wallet because what it does is it auto-populates this address field with any Bitcoin addresses it finds inside a browser window. So if you go to a website that's got a Bitcoin address, it'll instantly pick it up in the web page and it'll make it available for you to sort of use in this address field. So it makes it very easy to send Bitcoin to any address while you're browsing on the internet. And I'm actually going to go and demonstrate that in a sec. First of all, I'm just going to send a very small amount of Bitcoin to the wallet so that we've actually got some Bitcoin in there. And then I'm going to demonstrate going to a website and actually picking up this address and then sending some Bitcoin to this address. So as you can see, I've got some Bitcoin now in my wallet. But before we go to a website and actually send some Bitcoin, I want to make sure that I've got a password on my wallet. So if we go down here to wallet options and you see here there's a set password option. Now whenever you start a new wallet, the first thing you should do is set a password on that wallet because if you don't set a password, anybody can get onto your computer and they can just send all the bitcoins from that wallet to any other bitcoin address and you won't be able to do anything about it um, and they won't be asked for a password. So Obviously, you need to put in a secure password, at least 16 characters, uppercase letters, and some symbols. So I'm going to put in my standard password here. I'm going to set the password, and it says password has been set successfully. So I'm going to head over to a website now and we're going to see how easy it is to send some Bitcoin using CryptoKit. So I'm actually going to head over to my own website, which is secureyourwallet.com. And if we look at CryptoKit here, I have a donation address in the top right hand corner and straight away CryptoKit has picked up this Bitcoin address and it's put it here in this found addresses part of, its, of, of the wallet. Now all you do is you just click on this and it puts it straight away into the uh, send field. And uh, now we can send some Bitcoin to my donation address. So if we just put in 0.0018 and uh, we're going to have to put in the password. So as I mentioned before, if you didn't have a password on your wallet, anyone could just send some Bitcoin without having to enter this password. And we simply click send. And you get the nice little beep indicating that the payment's been sent. And if we go down here to view transaction history, 
and yet you can see that there's been two transactions done against this address. Obviously, there was a transaction where I sent you know, the 0 0.02 Bitcoin to the address and then the transaction that we've just done to my donation wallet address. So that's how easy it is to send some Bitcoin using CryptoKit. I think it's a really nice wallet and uh, I really recommend using it. So before we go and have a look at the other tabs like the messaging tab, I just want to have a quick look at some of the other wallet options. So if I click on wallet options, you can obviously remove your password. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Then you've got the option here to import or create a brain wallet. And a brain wallet is actually a wallet you create by um, generating a sort of phrase that you'll remember. So you have to make a really good phrase, like a sentence, quite an obscure thing normally. And then uh, it'll actually generate a public and private key and it'll generate a Bitcoin address for you. So this is quite a nice feature and I'm actually going to go into more detail about brain wallets in another video. You can also view your transaction history over here and if you click on this it takes you over to blockchain.info and you can see any of the transactions against your address. So those are your wallet options. If you go down over here you've got settings and you've got the option to back up CryptoKit. Now you should always back up your wallet and if you click over here it allows you to download the CryptoKit backup file and you want to go ahead and download that and it's downloaded it over here if I show it in the folder and you've got this backup JSON file and you want to put that in a really secure place. What I like to do is create a TrueCrypt hidden container and uh, I would put something in that and I'd probably put it on a memory stick and keep it sort of external to my computer and offline. And then if you ever need to restore your CryptoKit wallet, you've got this backup file. So I'm going to take a look at the messaging tab now. Now, CryptoKit has this sort of messaging, this secure messaging system built into it. And it actually uses a public and private key encryption, GPG uh, encryption. And it allows you to have secure communication with somebody else who's using the same system on their wallet. And you can send communication and it's encrypted and nobody can eavesdrop on this conversation. Now, the first time you use the system and you use CryptoKit, you get this option here, create new GPG keys. So you need to click on this and you need to put your name in and you need to put your email address in. And you need to use a password. Now I suggest as per usual, you use a really secure password, 16 characters with uppercase and lowercase and symbols or even a phrase. Um, just for the sake of this video, I've just done a quick password. And you create your key and you say yes. And it generates it. And uh, now it says your key pair has been generated successfully. Share the public key with others you wish to receive encrypted messages from. And so you would just email this key to a friend and they would have your public key and they would be able to message you and you would be the only person who could unlock that message using your private key, which you've got securely stored and generated on your computer. So that's the messaging system and it's a nice little additional feature of CryptoKit. Over here, we've got a tab with Bitcoin news. So it's just sort of streaming in the latest Bitcoin news. And then this tab's quite a nice feature. It's a merchant directory or a Bitcoin directory of businesses that uh, accept Bitcoin. So you can go on online and browse the different merchants that will allow you to pay with Bitcoin. And then in the far right here, you've got the latest Bitcoin price. So that was a brief look at CryptoKit. I really like CryptoKit and if you use Chrome as your browser, it's a really nice wallet to use. It makes it very easy to send Bitcoins to sort of online websites that use Bitcoin and uh, I really recommend it. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video, send any comments below. I will try to get back to you and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Secure Your Wallet. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video.